All right, so here we're asking is, what is a radical? Well, to determine what a radical is, it's pretty, uh, pretty basic what we're going to be looking at. Um, there's a lot of different types of radicals that we look at, but radical basically means we're going to be dealing with this symbol, which is your radical symbol, and then we're going to be dealing with the radicand, which is going to be a number um, under your square root symbol. So, so here we're going to call our symbol, and the number under is what we're going to call the radicand. Okay, so what we mean by dealing with the square root when there's not a square root, what that just represents is, um, you know, what number multiplied by itself is going to give us four. And a lot of times it's important for you to understand. Sometimes we can write a little two in front of there, and that's to tell you that you're going to take a number multiplied by itself twice to get your number in front. So therefore, the square root of 16 equals four. Now, however, this is like our basic model, so a lot of times we, we just omit that too because this is what we just call the square root symbol. Um, however, um, then we get into our cube root where we mean three. So if I said, what is the cube root of eight? That means what number multiplied by itself three times is gonna give you eight? And this instance is going to be two. So it's important for you just to understand that the square root symbol or the symbol of a radical is just this little bar here. If we don't have a number in front, we assume it's going to be two. However, if we have a number in front, that just tells you how many times you have to multiply a number by itself to get to the radicand. And that's really just the basics of the radical symbol.